In Core Solutions of SharePoint 2013, Creating and Configuring Web Applications. The first thing we're talking about is creating a web application. The first thing I'm going to do is create a configure DNS for the new web application. In the forward lookup zone in Contoso, I'm going to do is create a few hosts on here. And the first one I'm going to create is sales. One dot forty, and the next one I'm going to do is create finance. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do is create a few zones. I'm going to create a new zone. I'm going to call this one sales. I'm going to create a new host in this one right here. One dot forty. And I'm going to also do is this. I'm going to create a new zone. Call this new one finance. And in finance, I'm going to create a record here. I'm going to create service accounts for the web applications. New user. And on this one right here, it's be a sales web app on here. All done on there. And then I'm going to get this SB Finance Web App. Same password. Good thing about using the administrative center instead of this, it validates that the passwords are the same. Next thing I'm going to do is assign IP addresses to the SharePoint server. So now I am on the SharePoint server, and I'm going to assign these extra IP addresses to it. Finance and sales. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to register the accounts as SharePoint Managed Account. I'm going to go into Security, Configure Managed Accounts, and I'm going to register Managed Accounts. So I have Contoso SP Sales Web App. Good. And I'm going to do finance web app also. So 
So now that your uh, accounts have been registered, SP Sales Web App and SP Finance Web App. So now I'm going to create the web applications. So now I'm going to click on Application Management, Manage Web Application, New. So the name of the website, SharePoint Sales 80, Port 80. The host header is sales.local. Say OK. Good. So now the web app is created. So now I'm going to create another one. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to create the sales next. So first was sales. So the next I'm going to create finance. Port 80. Now the path on this one right here. Okay, so in the path I'm going to leave alone. Configurable list. Finance. Thanks. Fuck. The next thing I'm going to do is create the web application. I'm going to set up the bindings on the IIS. And I'm going to go into here. Finance. Finance, I'm going to add 41. Done here. Good. Finance is on there. And sales will be 40. Next thing I'm going to do is disable loopback checking for the reg edit under back connections. I'm going to add some more values in here. Sales and toso.com. So under here, uh, sales.contoso.com, sales, finances.contoso.com, and finance. It's okay that that message to be expected. And I'm going to do IS Reese. Next thing I'm going to do is add a managed path to the finance or application. I'm going to go to application management, general settings. So, application management, manage web applications. Now I'm then going to pick is finance, manage pass, on the path like this, I'm going to type country, wildcard inclusion. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the outgoing email address for the web application. I'm going to pick outgoing email from address finance at mail.contoso.com, general settings, SharePoint sales, outgoing mail. I'm going to go sales. Also.com. So this completes creating and configuring web application.